you had men said a couple of things about, you know, women in college and all that's part of the problem nowadays with mm. college. College is not learning anymore. It's just partying. Nothing wrong with it. You go, you binge drink, you become an alcoholic. And and I think men, if you're going to look for someone who I don't want to say virtuous or has those values, I probably wouldn't go to a bar. I probably wouldn't be on Tinder. I mean, that's just maybe one of my suggestions. Yeah. Uh, I, I, if you want to comment to that. Well, hold on. I want to keep it right there for a second, guys, because I think the interesting thing you were touching on before is there's a certain thing that women respond to as a guy. A lot of times I joked, you know, hey, we're we're not that far off from the caveman. We're we're dragging our knuckles. Hoo hoo ha ha kind of shit. Right. And so we're looking for conversion at at some point in our lives, like converting a a female to a companion. And and I think that's the big gap is like we don't know how to do it. So people turn to alcohol and these other things and the the easy bars and, and things like that. So so I think the challenge is, is like we don't know as like idiot knuckle dragger cavemen how to connect with the opposite sex. And I think you were alluding to that. Uh, before rich so maybe you can touch on that a little bit and then find where that intersection is uh to gino's later point because i think there's something that comes before that and it's that connection piece um okay so what do you want to deal with specifically in that statement because there's a few things that we took you know i think i think I, i think you know in the way my mind works is that young men struggle to make a connection with women we're, we're awkward yeah. we have a shit ton of testosterone yeah. we don't really know how to do it so there's there's like how do we make that connection? Well, the bar is an easy layup. It sounds mm-hmm. like Gino's arguing for a, a higher level self to make a connection and maybe like find another uh, a place to meet and, and entertain women. So I, I think it's just maybe, and you're, it sounded like, if I'm not mistaken, you were referring to a way to get women to respond to you. So maybe starting there and then finding better places to you know find you know someone that, that may be uh, a better fit for you if you if you do have virtue, Jake. Before Rich answers that, the question, mm. the problem. Oh, that, dude, no, listen, the, listen, no, listen. The problem is, <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I, 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 it's like a five minute question. You just I, I don't know. The time out. The problem is right nowadays is there are no strong fathers right now. I've got five daughters. Yes. My daughters know how I treat them. I have a twenty three year old who just started dating, and she's probably going to marry the guy because she knows how I treat her. She knows that I'll take a bullet. Whoa, for I didn't her. hear about will, this yet. I didn't yeah, hear. I will do anything for her. And, uh, and Uncle Jake might have to daughters, step in here a little bit. Right? Dude, all my other daughters <laughs> understand that. My son knows how I treat my wife and how I love my wife and respect my wife. So it all starts with the nuclear family, traditional values. I'm sorry. And that's what's going off the rails. And we've we've started with this divorce thing down the road. And now it's okay. And now women got the short end of the stick because now can they rely on a, on a, a, man, a man or a husband? Ooh, my wife can rely on Extreme me. ownership, that's, Gino. Touche. That's the problem. So, I mean, that's where it all starts. It starts with the family and with the head. And if you're a strong man and your daughter knows what you are and you're not an asshole, you're not going to walk out on her and she can rely on you then she'll look for that mate but there aren't that many guys out there that will stick around for the next 20 to 25 years they're they're pieced out after a couple of years so we're gonna we're we're gonna give our guest the floor here and see where he wants to go with this bag of shit i don't know you guys ready to put on some seatbelts and buckle in for some cold hard truth bombs (laughs) let it let make it rain Man, there's a lot to talk about that. So to Gino's point with, you know, fathers, um, that appears to be one of the major problems. Um, you know, on Father's Day, it's not that uncommon if you're on social media to see the single mommies use Father's Day as an opportunity to say, I do the job of both parents, so I'm awesome, praise me as well. And why wouldn't they? Society has been telling, you know, single mothers for for decades now, you're strong, you're independent, you don't need no man until they need child support or until they need government handouts or until whatever, right? So they still have the opportunity to raise children, but without the authority of a man in a household. And and the problem with that is that single mommy households tend to be absolute beta factories. They don't churn out strong, virtuous men, and they generally churn out promiscuous, slutty women. Um, So here's some stats from single parent households, which are more specifically single mother households, because 80% of the time women are raising the kids when it comes to single parent household, probably even a little bit more, maybe even close to about 85% of the time. Um, The vast majority of the incarcerated single parent household, the vast majority of uh, gang activity, single parent household, vast majority of teenage pregnancies, vast majority of dropouts, vast majority of suicide attempts. You can go right down the list. Uh, Two parent households with a man and a woman produce far better members and far more useful members of society than ones that are walking around virtuously pounding their chest saying, I am awesome. Here's my offspring. The truth of the matter is the vast majority of the guys that watch my content come from single parent households. They haven't got it right. And they've been conditioned to be kind, humble, nice. Um, These moms generally turn out weak, pussified men that try to enter the friend zone to get with the gals. 
And women don't want weak, pussified men. They want strong, virtuous guys. That's what they're attracted to. That's what they've always been attracted to. If you want to distill what works on the sexual marketplace as far as attraction between men and women, men compete, women choose. You want to boil it down to four, you know, a couple words, men compete, women choose. Women choose, like, you know, I've said, I've said this line many, many times and it ruffles some feathers. You know, I've always said, you know, women, women don't care about a man's struggle. They wait at the finish line and they bang the winners. Okay. Women aren't kingmakers. They are walking around today, the vast majority of them, even if they're out of shade, out of shape, obnoxious, ignorant, covered in tattoos, have short purple hair, uh, aren't attractive physically. They still walk around thinking that they are queens and they're not kingmakers. They're looking for a guy that's already a winner. So there's a lack of supply of strong, virtuous men. There's a lack of supply of uh, feminine, beautiful women that strong, virtuous men want to date. So the vast majority of the guys out there are dating a lot of women simultaneously. Like it's it's not uncommon for successful masculine guys that understand these facts to be dating multiple women simultaneously. So women are actually being shared by these. Are they aware of that? Today. I think they just generally look the other way for the most part. Right. Um, you know, it's been said that a woman would rather share a high value alpha male than be straddled with a faithful loser. It's one of the reasons why, um, you know, you see a lot of women today that will be happier dating a, a successful married man rather than dating a single guy that lives in their mom's basement. Right. Because there's a lot of social proof because that guy's already been chosen. So, you know, when you get into the dynamics of the way things actually work versus what we've been told and the direction that society is sort of going, it's it starts to get very, very complex. Like men are suffering today. The vast majority of, of men are lonely, single, poor. Uh, they lack intimacy. They're they're mostly invisible to women. I think there was a stat. It goes out back recently. to what I was saying about the, the the feminist stuff, though. It's like yeah. yes, there's the the one percent, but the majority of guys. To your point, this is not some some fucking party that that most guys are on right now. No, this is serious, man. Like yeah, you know, this is a serious problem today. Yeah. Wow. So so what do we do? <laughs> what? <laughs> there's always that. <laughs> hey. How do we fix this problem, Rich? So what's the solution? Yeah, but, that's, to all but, that? but let's be honest, though. Like, so you know, as as a guy, take it as my responsibility to fix fix things, right? It's it's how do we make the world a better place? And, so, and I think that's that's probably lacking right now. Yeah. So I think that we're 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 pretty far down the rabbit hole when it comes to trying to fix this. Like, but I'm it off happened the quick, though. Like, I, I, I'm quick. born I'm born in the '80s, right? It, it, like, this seems like a much different world than the the world I was brought up in. Yeah, that's not a long period of time. Yeah, I was this, born in the seventies. I'm guessing. I'm guessing Gino's close to my age as well. Forties. Yeah, forties. <laughs> born in the forties, Gino. He looks good, man. <laughs> he looks good for the forties. You know, good yeah. for you. Um, no, but I was going to say, like, like you know, it, it's 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 essentially happened since the sexual revolution, since hormonal birth control, you know, happened. Baby boomers 60s. ruined fucking everything. Yeah, those boomers, right? <laughs> fucking assholes. Um, yeah, so it's. So it's been a long, slow process of sort of boiling the frog and accepting, you know, mediocrity and, you know, weakening and pussifying men. There's, there's a lot of events that you can take a look at. I mean, um, I remember when I was a kid, you know, I'm a big car guy, obviously, you know, the name of my main YouTube channel is Entrepreneurs in Cars. And, you know, when I was a kid, like there was masculine cars, there was cars that laid rubber, made all kinds of noise, burned tons of fuel. They look like men's cars. Uh, somebody sent this you know, sent me this meme the other day from my community. And it was every single manufacturer's midsize compact SUV painted in white, uh, all one after the other, everything from Mercedes all the way down to Kia, and they all look identical. They're boring ass beige boxes. Okay. Fortunately, we can still buy station exotic wagon. Cars. Fortunately, we can still buy our exotic cars. I've got a McLaren. I'm very happy with that. You know, I'm glad that, you know, these car manufacturers still exist. But, you know, we've gone from a distinguished sort of society with uh, distinguished roles where men have like, you know, blue jobs and women sort of have pink jobs. And that was okay. But for some reason, you know, society has now sold this bill a lie. Well, where that's not okay now. And, you know, it's okay for men to stay home. Do you guys remember the movie, Mr. Mom back in the eighties? Yes. Sounds like a, an example, but I don't know. Yeah. you know, an example of like one of the things that sort of shifted and pivoted. Um, all of the uh, sitcom shows that I watched when I was growing up, the father was always portrayed as a bumbling idiot by Hollywood, right? They were never portrayed as a strong, virtuous male that, 
you know, the wife respected the child, you know, the children sort of obeyed, uh, you know, you go back to the uh, shows that we watch, uh, you know, in black and white from the forties and fifties and stuff, or leave it, you know, like the leave it to beaver era sort of thing. And some people criticize, oh, that's, that's all, that's all a farce. That's all the patriarchy trying to control you, blah, 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 sort of thing. They've pushed well past that now. And they've pushed into an era now where men are, men are, uh, society, you know, uh, the matrix, as you may want to call it. Has no, but of, like you could go down a complete conspiracy theory here and say this is a collectivist, you know, uh, type coup here. Look, we don't know who's at the controls, right? But, I mean, but it would, Joe it Biden would, certainly isn't at the controls. It, like, the it motor's would lead running, you, to, but nobody's would behind lead the you to believe that if you want to control people, there's a collectivist type scheme behind the scenes. All, all I'm saying, well, like, we don't well, get a super conspiracy theory here. But aren't soft, pussified men easier to control than but strong, that's virtuous the exact point males? that I'm making. That's the exact right? point that I'm making. So, and if you, so how Jay, do you get everyone I want you that to shut up, together? Stand on your dots, take this experimental injection and wear a face diaper because I told you so. And the vast majority of the North American population comply or get that. the fuck out of society. Exactly. Exactly. So they've been conditioning us to become softer, more agreeable because you're easier to control. A society that is in that position is going to vote for bigger government, more taxes, less freedoms. People don't want freedom anymore. They want free shit. Like yeah. watch the way that they vote. 